Hello dear all. Today we'll be talking about Kamla Das whose timeline is from 31st March 1934 to 31st first May 2009. She is one of the Indian writers in English and has established herself as the forerunner of the feminist writers in India. And we have to not forget that her most assertive work is her autobiographical novel that is titled My Story where she in very detail and in very frank manner talks about her women body and talk or her female body she talks about her womanliness she talks about how a female is uh, subjugated in the society and what are the ways in which she li- wants to liberate and she wants to get free from the society and she refers there that uh, the love is like a swindle door for her so people kept on coming and going out but never ever she got or she uh, f- attained the true love that she was seeking for and in her some poetry is which has always also been dedicated to lord krishna she somewhere or the other feels krishna to be the ultimate love that she f- seeks for but in her later years of life she transferred or she actually um, embraced islam and she converted her name from kamla das to suraya and uh, kamla das was also uh, her pen name her basically the most important name or her child name was madhavi kutti so she has many names kamla das or beat madhavi kutti or beat um, suraya but uh, uh, although she embraced islam and uh, her view points kept on uh, oscillating from the extreme feminists to the submissive uh, feminism kind but um, the most important thing is that the way she expresses herself the way she is free to talk about her body about uh, freeing herself from the shames of the society and uh, her most important poems are one of the most important poems which i personally feel is very thought provoking is an introduction where she talks about her introduction of being a indian of being a indian who is writing in english and uh, that's why that text is very important when we cover indian writers in english because there she mentions that she knows three languages and she is writing in english and because of that she is being rebuked by people because they feel that right english is not for everyone to write uh, if your mother tongue is something different you must write in that language and then uh, she asserts herself that okay i dream in one language i speak two languages and i write in three languages or whatever but the most important thing is that english is whatever i write in english maybe it is half english half hindi funny perhaps but it is mine my own its distortions its queerness is all mine so whatever flaws we have whatever falter is there in our um, maybe uh, style of living or in our way of life or whatever in our physical orientation whatever it may be but everything is my own it is my identity so whoever i am that is my identity and she feels free to discuss about her identity her body her writing in english and uh, this is a very powerful note of resistance you see because she resists the stereotypical society she resists english uh, as a hierarchical language or english as something which is supreme and then she resists um being a, a woman if we uh, females are subjugated in the society so she resists that also and in an introduction only she further goes on telling of uh, how she was uh, uh, judged because she is a girl and she wears trousers or she ha- cuts her hair short so why she is judged on th- those basis and uh, there are so many several things layers and layers of meaning in an introduction so that is one of the poems which is uh, uh, very assertive in talking about kamla das and uh, obviously her my story is another aspect of a uh, very powerful work of art which describes her fully and there she says that she is not an nymphomaniac she was judged and uh, made or believed to be so so she justifies herself at several places in my story and uh, what are the reasons for her being so Uh, and uh, for that also she uh, discusses that it is the burden of the society that we are carrying and because of that we are judged in such and such way 
so it is all about just an introduction to kamla das and we'll be taking up several uh, poems and several works of her um, step by step in video by video so that is all for today and uh, thank you